Okay. No NYWC fans, you can clearly see I am not Nick Mancuso, the star of the television 1980s hit Stingray. But I am the administrator of the NYWC message board, Robert Lottie. She's my favorite NYWC, I, Jessica Denezzo. Hi, everyone. April Rain 2018 is in the history books, and quite a show it was. We kick off with the six way matchup as we saw King Mega defeat Alvin Alvarez, Jeff Cannonball, Joe Gacy, Kosa, and Ultimo Maya, who replaced Apollyon, who did not compete. Our second match tonight, we saw Bam Sullivan of the Extricated defeat NYWC original Dan Barry. That was a great match. I was rooting for both of them. I couldn't decide because they were both good. Hmm. It was a great match. All right. From there, uh, Joey Conway comes out and he said that at Aftermath last month, he was apologizing to Willow Nightingale and Tara Calloway for bringing exotic dancers to the show. And at that point, Tara Calloway comes out and Conway apologizes to her for everything and then they're disrupted by Anthony Lacerra and Jesse Vane who came out with an exotic dancer. Lacerra took the microphone and I believe these guys now call themselves the Undressed Express. Yeah. I guess that's a new tag team name. Yeah. And before they, Lacerra and Vane hit the ring and they attack uh, Conway and uh, Calloway. And, but the match was on and Conway and Calloway were victorious over Lacerra and Vane. Next up, we have. That's fine. Thank you. Next up, we had um, in singles action returning to NYWC Tyler Murphy substituting for Devin Moore, who didn't show up, as Tyler Murphy defeated the extricated Aiden Bale. I like that match. It was a great match. Oh, okay. I clap for Aiden Bale. He's like clap more for the crowd. Ah uh, yes. One more claps from the crowd besides me. Yes. Uh, next, we saw a tag team grudge match as nobody's better. Michael Mastretta defeated um, Leo Blacks. He uh, teamed up with Leo Blackstone, sorry, as they defeated Jay Red and Irish. Yeah. Next up, we saw Bull James defeat Sam Adonis to retain the heavyweight championship. Up next was they went to intermission at that point. Then in six man tag team action, we had. Um, Match striker Tinder Tom and the Man Bun Jesus Johnny Radke take on the Beer Belly Bandits. That was Richard, a great match. Joe, JT Kaysen and, and I'm Spider. glad Max Striker actually showed up this time. Yeah, and quite frankly, quite a they were having masks, including JT Kaysen with a empty beer can, beer no beer box over his head instead of a mask. Mm -hmm. Striker seemingly smoking weed. Yeah, and he was passing it around to Bo Pritchard. No, he had some of it and. To referee James McGrady, who iron refed this particular he show. Ref the whole damn show. Congratulations, James, on getting to referee. Jumble man. Yeah. Hopefully, um, he'll get to referee again, even if, he, even if he has to iron ref the show again. But yeah, that was quite a hilarious thing. And oh, I forgot Tinder Tom pulled a condom out. <laughs> that and was... eventually, the Beer Belly Bandits got the win. Yeah. Next up, it was. Um, we saw, in a shocking upset, Jack Castle defeating the debuting Schlack. Yeah, but that was a great match. I was rooting for Jack all the way. Yeah. Rooting for the underdog. And up next was a tag team match. Saw Mega Muscle defeat uh, the Desolate One, Rex Lawless, and the Hand of God Talon. The Restless One? Desolate One. Oh, Desolate. I thought you said Restless. No. Then up next we saw Flawless Blake Morris challenge Mouse for the Fusion Championship. And, uh... Eventually, Bam Sullivan and Victoria Von Black come out. Bam had a, a kendo stick with him, and he was going to bat a thousand. He was going to hit Mouse. Mouse ducked. Bam hits King Mega from behind yeah. with it. Eventually, uh, Mouse picked up the win with a slice spread number two to retain the Fusion Championship. That was Brian Kendrick's move in WWE, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was. Yes. I know in Japan, it's uh, somebody else came up with it, and I forgot what they call it. Oh, okay. Shirin Wee, I think. Maybe I mispronounced it. But yeah. No um Next was, um, well, actually, no, uh, well, Jeff Cannonball comes out and Bam and Cannonball get into it with King Mega and Flawless Blake Morris. Yeah. And then, time for the uh, Starlet Championship match. We saw Willow Nightingale defeat Maria Manic. I think that was one of Willow's better matches with her opponents. 
Uh, yeah, I, I liked Maria Manning. I thought she was good competition for Willow. Yeah, she was. And then what turned out to be the main event, when on last we saw uh, Brandon Watts and The Rep, which is Chris Bishop, um, Nate Carter, My and Dave McCall. Yeah. We'll be with you, all right. Gotta pay. Yes. Tell her we gotta pay. Please do. All right. And uh, as they defeated... Robert? As they defeated uh, the Benson Bros and the Punk Relics. After the match, um, the Bensons and the Relics got into yeah. it. So hope I'm. So it was a pretty good show. Uh, Jess, want to make, make any final thoughts here? Final thoughts. It was a great night. I just celebrated my 34th birthday on Monday, so that was a good way to do a show. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. My eighth. I thought it was a great show. And I think it was spared than some of the April rains in the past. Okay, well that's a great thing to say. But uh, um, I'll get, I'll be back shortly, folks. Uh, but you know, I mean, we'll have more. I'll have more on the train, folks. I'm sorry, but we got to get out of here. So we'll have more, hopefully.